I don't know about you, but finding out that Leia would be getting her princess skin in May for Battlefront 2 was a huge surprise for me personally. I think this was really, really well presented by EA and DICE, well marketed, and overall it's a beautiful skin. The thing is... I want more. And I know I shouldn't. That's right, I feel like one skin a month, a surprise skin that we could all look forward to as a community could go a long way. Think about it, we could be guessing about this skin, speculating, and when it comes into the game we could buy it with credits, crystals, could be a challenge, who knows, and I don't think asking for one skin a month is too much. On top of whatever we get that month, they could always add in a bonus skin. Remember to leave a like if you enjoy everyone, and let me know what skin you would like to see more than any other skin in Battlefront 2 in the comments section. So there are 7 months left of 2019, already that's pretty crazy that we're already like in May right now, but I'm gonna go through a skin that could be added each month, and I've tried to go off popular opinions from the fans, you know, most wanted skins, and we're gonna see which ones right now. Now I think it's only right in June we start off with the General Skywalker skin, the Clone Wars Anakin skin. I don't know if this was ever planned, it's kind of a mystery right now, but I feel like get this into the game. So Obi-Wan, Dooku, Grievous and Anakin all have a balanced amount of skins. And then as we enter July, we're gonna get onto some of those highly requested skins. For the month of July, Farm Boy Luke. Now, Luke might as well have zero appearances in this game because his default appearance is very similar to the one from Battlefront 1. The Hoff skin is from Battlefront 1. He's got nothing else, and I don't know how this has slipped by for so long, but it's time to get one of the most wanted Luke skins in the game, Farm Boy Luke from Episode 4. I would really, really love to see that one. But I think what I've got for the month of August is my personal favourite, at least on this list, and that is Crimson Dawn Darth Maul from the Solo movie, obviously. Now, it was just as much of a surprise to me as I'm sure it was to many people out there when Maul popped up in Solo. Although, if you've watched Clone Wars and Rebels, you'll know that he was technically alive in that period. However, this is a pretty, a pretty cool skin, to be honest. However... The mechanical legs may be an issue, that's why I didn't go with Darth Maul's Season 4 look from the Clone Wars, because maybe it would be too hard to animate with this skin as well. He's got the double-bladed lightsaber, so they wouldn't need to worry about new lightsaber animations. It could be a hard one to pull off, I mean, there was leaks about this skin in the past, they never came true, but you never know. There could be some sort of material for this skin in the files. It's a hard one to predict, but I'd really, really love to see this one. This is my favourite on the entire list. And then September, Palpatine is finally going to get, well, at least, you know, in my head, an alternate skin. And that is the Senate Palpatine from, obviously, when he's arrested, or an attempt, a, you know, an attempt arrest from Mace Windu. It wasn't quite successful. But this would be pre-deformed Palpatine in the red robes. He Would he have the lightsaber? Probably not going to happen. He's probably still going to have the lightning. Wouldn't matter too much, but it'd be nice to see a pre-deformed Palpatine in the game. I think that's what we're missing. And to go from the pre-deformed to obviously the deformed Palpatine, it'd be a nice switch up. And then October, we are going to go with Battle Damage Phasma. Now, I haven't really spoke about the rarity for each of these skins. I'll leave that up to you guys to decide in the comments section. But this potentially could be a legendary skin, and I'm going to say that because it could have new voice lines. Obviously, when Phasma gets her helmet slashed by Finn in The Last Jedi, her voice sounds a bit more clearer, because obviously the, the helmet's broke. And I feel like this would be... Design-wise, not many adjustments would have to be made to it, but voice-wise, they could make up for that with some more human-sounding Phasma lines, if you get it, and not, you know, clearly voice lines where she's under the mask. Obviously, they could animate one of her eyelids as well, and a bit of her face under the mask, and that, that would just be so epic. Obviously, Phasma needs that alternate skin as well. And for November, I've tried not to repeat any heroes on this list, just because I wanted to try and give as many different hero skins, but I think we can all agree that Luke does need skins ASAP. So we're going to go with Bespin Luke. Luke is the only hero on this list to get a second skin. But Bespin Luke, once again, very highly requested. I don't know why I've seen more requested, actually. Would it be Farm Boy Luke, or would it be Bespin Luke? Let me know in the comments section. But overall, this skin has got to happen. Especially with us having now Bespin in the game in Heroes vs. Villains. Imagine the lightsaber battles you could recreate between Luke and Vader. And finally for December, we are going to go with Bespin Chewbacca. Now, I know Chewie's got a few skins in the game. However, this one will be different. He could have C-3PO 
on his back. Now this is this would have to be a legendary skin. And imagine 3PO just talking in the middle of battle, getting really scared, coming out with all these different voice lines, and then Chewie interacting with him. When it comes to like a Luke skin with Yoda on the back, I doubt it's going to happen because Yoda's already in the game. But with this, it wouldn't interfere with anything. 3PO isn't currently in the game. So you could easily have 3PO and Chewbacca's back and some nice interactions between those two. Plus, you'd have 3PO's face staring at you for like the whole match. Tell me that isn't epic enough. But we are going to leave it there, everyone. Hopefully you agree with this. What do you think? One skin a month for the rest of the year it could really just add that bit more to Battlefront 2, especially giving those heroes who aren't as appreciated when it comes to skins some appreciation. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time.